I am 13 weeks post facelift. I have swollen areas in front of both my ears that extends below ear. I just completed a 5-day 4 mg Medrol dose pack after seeing my plastic surgeon for the persistent swelling, ridge, in front of my ears and swelling that now extends across my cheeks. It did nothing to reduce the swelling. My face is much more round than it was. I am asking what I need to do or ask the plastic surgeon to get the swelling reduced. Sometimes it is difficult to chew because of the swelling. Is it a hematoma or swollen lymph gland? or a ridge from the sutures, or surgery itself? Thank you for your question. You're about 13 weeks after your facelifting surgery, and you state in your question that you just completed a course of using the Medrol dose pack, which is an anti-inflammatory um, in, in the steroid family, uh, to reduce some swelling, and you're concerned about the persistence of swelling, as well as some difficulty with chewing and um, the roundness of your face after the surgery. So uh, I could certainly give you some guidance as to how uh, we address issues uh, such as yours in our practice. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic surgeon, practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. And facelifts and neck lifts are a big part of what I do in my practice. So I can certainly tell you from my experience um, how we deal with issues such as yours. Well, first of all, I would advise you that that it's it is good to to seek additional opinions, but chances are when you chose your your surgeon, you were aware that the surgeon is an experienced surgeon and is, um, is the right, was the right choice for you in terms of um, having the surgery done. Which means that it's, I think it's a little early to abandon hope and, and think that the surgeon is missing anything. Um, that being said, when, when you talk about surgery, you also talk about the level of surgery and the degree of swelling that is appropriate for a certain amount of surgery. When I was uh, in training in facial plastic surgery, it was almost routine for our facelift patients to be very swollen for over a month. And my preceptor used to put multiple drains um, and, to, and, and kept patients overnight. Um, and we would go the following day to pull these drains and to change dressings. Now, move the clock forward, and in my practice, we actually don't use drains, and we, uh, we, we let people go home, and we have uh, a very good track record of getting people to recover very quickly. Um, and uh, and it, with doing exactly the same type of surgery, but with a different approach. In your situation, I would um, think, consider the possibility that because of the natural thickness of your skin, um, your face looks a little bit red, I wonder if you have any history of rosacea, that maybe your skin has a little bit of tendency towards a little bit of inflammation. And um, we, I, definitely in my experience, people who have this type of thicker skin and reddish skin, they have a tendency to swell a little bit longer. Um, and even though it's, it, it may not be um, that significant from a medical perspective, it's significant for you. Um, it, it, the follow-up questions would be is like, how did, you, did your swelling improve with the Medrol dose pack? You know, this is, this is about management. In surgery, in facelifting surgery, one of the things that we were con concerned about uh, immediately after surgery typically is hematoma. But um, just from your photos, it doesn't seem likely. There is also something called a seroma, which is ba uh, basically what's something called serosanguineous fluid, a very straw-colored fluid that, um, that, that collects in this space um, that, create, that, that, that does have to be drained uh, in order to uh, allow the skin to heal. Um, so that's you know that may be amongst the possibilities, but in the absence of my of anybody doing a physical exam, it doesn't make sense to say that that would be likely the cause. 
it seems more likely that based on your surgeon's management that you're just having a little bit of prolonged swelling. And its name may not be just inflammatory, but it just can be a matter of fluid getting absorbed over the course of time. So I think that as long as you have a good continuous follow-up with your surgeon and since you know and trust this surgeon, I would say that any other opinion you're getting may be just more confusing than being helpful. Uh, again, a competent, experienced surgeon will know the basics of management of prolonged swelling um, after facelifting surgery. And again, at 13 weeks, depending on the type of surgery and the anesthesia and others, uh, other factors, this may not be that unusual for your surgeon to deal with. So uh, the, bo the bottom line is there's a lot of customization. And uh, certainly if you wanted to mention to your surgeon is the possibility of a seroma um, or, or, or um, sometimes um, if there is um, a, uh, a, a, some trauma to the parotid gland, there's something called a sialocele, which is basically the parotid gland, uh, the gland that produces saliva, producing uh, saliva in a way that's collecting in the cheek. But I, I would th think that's, that's not that likely, um, uh, looking at the photos um, that you have. But again, this is a question that is really uh, more to be directed to your surgeon. So the questions to ask is, is this a seroma or a sialocele? And if your surgeon says, no, it's not, then chances are your surgeon is correct because your surgeon knows your face and was there for your surgery and has been there for your follow-up. So no one should know it better. If for any reason you don't feel comfortable with your surgeon, your surgeon turns out not to be so connected to you, then of course you need to see other doctors to um, to clarify this. So in the meantime, continue following up with your surgeon and hopefully the information I provided you was helpful. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.